This is the live shot of the Kennedy Space Center. We have some breaking news for you right now. This morning's moon launch has been scrubbed. That means it will not be launching today. Let's bring in Nicole Mortolero. She is our CBC News senior science reporter leading our coverage. Nicole, you're at the Kennedy Space Center. You just listened to the announcement by NASA. Why is this mission being scrubbed? Well, you know what? It, there have been many problems uh, today, but you know what? This is why they have these, uh, you know, the uncrewed launches. But um, first, the final one that kind of did it in was an issue with one of the four engines, the RS-25 engines. Um, they have to bleed out uh, after when uh, the like all the fuel is loaded up and everything. And one of the engines, engine number three, um, was was having an issue with that. Uh, and so. You know what? It's better to be safe than sorry. And as well, like, I'm going to take you from the top. In the morning, we went through a delay because of lightning, nearby lightning. The rain was okay, not the lightning, of course. They couldn't uh, load the propellant. And then after that, it was an issue with actually that propellant load, a couple of issues, and that had a couple of holes. And then finally, and then there was another one that actually they encountered uh, during the two dress, wet dress rehearsals uh, in the past that they did to see if they could, how far they could get in the countdown before count by actually lifting off kind of thing. Um, and with that, unfortunately, they had the same problem, but they fixed that. So we thought, okay, this is great. We're going to go and move forward. And then we had this RS-25 engine problem. But honestly, this is why they chose to do an uncrewed launch. This is why they are doing these tests, even uh, for future missions like Artemis II. You want to find out what these problems are and, and, and work through these issues. So you're there on the ground. How disappointed are the teams about this? You know, I mean, the teams themselves, we haven't heard from them yet. We uh, anticipate at least um, a briefing, a media briefing after this. Don't know if it'll happen, but uh, it's likely. But uh, you know what? They are also used to this. I'm sure they are, you know, deflated about, a little bit about it. But again, this is why they are doing this test launch. And Nicole, you know, what are we going to look for going ahead now? Well, we're going to have to make, wait for that media briefing because we're going to have to find out if they're going to roll that rocket back uh, the way they have done with the wet dress rehearsals. They run through, you know, uh, all the loading and all that, and then they roll it back. But and they had to do that twice already. Is this wet dress rehearsal number three? Maybe. They may have to do that. If they don't, there are two launch windows on September 2nd and September 5th. The only problem is it is very hot and humid and sticky here. Um, and it's been 32 degrees for the past week with a, you know, humidex of 40. And so that means there are going to be more thunderstorms. And the next launch window happens later in the morning. And that means that you have an increase chance of thunderstorms and then the next launch window is even later which increases again those chances of thunderstorms so it, it, they may not make this window this you know it, it's all up in the air really right now but we will hopefully learn more after they have a media briefing if they have it.